Hello, Sagittarius. Really interesting connection here where someone offered you the Ace of Cups and you just kind of poured it out. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Sagittarius tarot reading. It is a general reading for November 21st through the 27th. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you guys for next week. Okay. Rare, raw, real. Beautiful, beautiful. 42. That seems to be a bit of a collective message there. It's come up like three, four times. Um, not that specific card, but the message about being authentic self being the most important thing. It says there is a unique beauty in you that wants to shine through. It is different. It might not be pretty, neat and tidy, and you might feel vulnerable about sharing this real unveiled you with the world. Do it anyway, because the world wants to love you. The rare, raw, and real you. This is about radiating full authenticity. Full authenticity at full blast. Okay. Not making yourself small for anyone. Okay. It's time to be comfortable in your own skin, in your own life. Okay. Let's see what complimenting energy we're going to get here with the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck. I just switched this out along with a couple other decks, as you can see. Um, ran into a lovely shop last weekend and ended up walking out with four decks. That never happens. That was the perfect opportunity to refresh the table a little bit. And let's see. The world wants to be written. Okay, so any of you thinking about writing a book, there's your sign. <laughs> Anybody thinking about writing a book, there's your sign. Let's see, it's this one we want to use. Okay, let's see what's going on. Sagittarius next week, please. Two of swords underneath there. Princess of cups. Temperance, there you are. The lovers, card of Gemini. Five of pentacles. Queen of pentacles. Ace of cups. The magician. Some big energy over here. I'm going to be honest, I feel like you lost someone's cup. Or that you abandoned someone's cup. Because this is the card of abandonment, Five of Pentacles. That's what was abandoned, the Ace of Cups. And you are literally pouring out the cup and not even looking at it. It looks like there's an, I'm going to read this side as you, Sag. This is your person. This is the situation. It looks like you're gearing up to apologize to this person. This person, that was a very powerful feminine energy here. Very powerful feminine energy here. Could be an earth sign. Could have some Gemini in their chart. This person was a love connection for you. But you just acted like you, you didn't even look in the cup. You just poured it out. But now you want to come back and give this person a I'm sorry cup. What? What? Really? Hmm.
It just kind of looks like your overall plan went to shit. Of what you thought this was and what control you would have over it. To put it plainly. It's almost like you thought that moving forward without this person would be a smooth and easy thing, but it ended up not being at all. Okay. Let's expand on the Princess of Cups, please. Let's go there first. Nine of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Star, Card of Aquarius. Ace of Wands. Emperor, Card of Aries. Eight of Cups, the Hermit. Card of Virgo. Devil, Card of Capricorn on the bottom. We've got some Taurus underneath here, too. Mm. Yeah. This this is this this feels this feels over. This feels over. So if what feels like is happening here is the situation is that you're wanting to bring in this apology here with the Princess of Cups, also known as the Page of Cups. Um there's been a lot of back and forth about how to physically bring this about, this do-over, um, in attempt to heal the connection here. Um, but it looks like by the time you muster up the leadership capability to execute the idea, um, this person needs a moment to reevaluate if they have enough in their cup left for you after what happened. It's almost like it's possible that an apology can fall on deaf ears. Does that make sense? Because so much happened, it's like, you're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Great. Okay. Let's get into this temperance card of Sanj, please. Let's get a little more in this. Eight of Wands, Five of Cups. Yep, there's that. I'm sorry. Princess of Cups, Page of Cups and Five of Cups is, is I am very sorry. Truly regretting what I did. It's conversation about what it is that you did. Five of Pentacles, please. Way too many. Way too many. Fearing the change. But did it anyway, though. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, please. Broken Heart. Three of Swords. Chariot. Dude. Ugh. Not a fan of this. Not a fan. It feels like you took the chariot and ran over this person's heart. That's literally what it feels like. Okay. Um, ouch. Ace of Cups, Three of Swords, Chariot. Hmm. While you made other choices. Ouch. Alright. So that's where we're going. Four of Cups, Four of Wands. Okay. Let's see what's going on with them. All right. Let's start with the lovers, please. This one needs to come out. Oh, yeah. The fool in faith, AKA the hermit. <clears throat> So this, it looks like this person took the leap in giving the cup, took the leap of faith, literally leap of faith. It says faith on the card, <clears throat> excuse me. And the cup was just pouring out. Like meh. <laughs> queen of pentacles. Let's expand on the queen of pentacles, please. Oh, Jesus. 
can't, I need a sip of water for this. Hold on. <sighs> okay. This was a big fuck up. <sighs> you know how I know? Because you're a soulmate sweet match. Okay. And this person knew what you were. This person knew what you were, knew what the connection was. The magician, please, at the bottom. Oh, damn. <laughs> ah. So what this person did when they saw what you were or were not doing as a result of what they admitted, they quite literally killed the feelings. Quite literally killed the feelings. Manifested this ending. Okay, manifested this ending. What else did they know that Sag didn't know? What else did they know that Sag didn't know? Page of Swords, Temperance. So they know that you were keeping an eye on them. Okay. Yeah. That pride got in the way. Pride got in the way. It could also be options or plain old fashioned confusion, but they know that you watch them. Okay. Okay. It looks like what was needed was the real version of you but for whatever reason you were not why did temperance why did i'm sorry why did sag pour out the cup why did sag pour out the cup please why did sag pour out the cup three of swords seven of swords eight of wands and And, uh, uh, five of Wands Tower, Page of Coins. Seven of Wands. You could have had someone else. Show me the secret here. The Seven of Swords. Show me the secret thoughts here. Yep. Ten of Cups, Queen of Coins. King of Cups. Yeah, you already had something. You already had something. So what's to communicate here with the Eight of Wands? What's to communicate here? Four of Wands. You already have your Palace of Coins. Is the person that Sag is with a divine partner? Is the person that Sag is with a divine partner? Four swords, palace of swords, Empress, Hermit, Strength. No. <sighs> it's a connection that looks very, very fantastic on the outside looking in. Fantastic on the outside looking in. But it doesn't actually go anywhere. It doesn't actually go anywhere. There's something, there's something about it that looks very good to everyone else on the outside of it. Getting a bit of a control issue here. A little more on the strength card, please. Star, Knight of Coins. Palace of Cups. Someone wishes for love. Someone wishes for love. Someone someone wishes to be set free. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with this person in their... I'm getting it as a feminine. Um, in their current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you in this lifetime. So... 
If you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, uh, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I will see you guys over there. Bye. Bye.